What is up you guys, it's Thaki here, bringing you another Madden 19 video. Um, this video is about training points. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about training points, what's the best way to earn them, what's the best way to spend them, and ultimately just how can you obtain training points the most affordable way. At the end of the video, we're gonna be doing a gold player pack opening, so stick around for that. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so as you can see here, we are in our item binder, and I just wanted to quickly go over to you guys what the quick sell rate was on particular cards. So if you didn't know, you get more training points based off of the overall rating of the player. So for example, the 71 overall Steven Anderson may not get as many training points as this 82 overall Tevin Coleman. So we're about to analyze this, and I'm going to tell you guys what's the best cards to buy for training points. So if you look at the 71 overall, you'll see that he quick sells for 10 training points down here at the bottom. And that's not very much, but he's also not very expensive. So if you go up here to the 72 overall, you see that he goes for 10 training points. 73 goes for 10 training points. If I have a 74, I don't have a 74. But a 75 is the first card that you'll see that sells for more than 10 training points. And this one sells for 15 training points. So the threshold is that from, from overall 70 to 74, you're only going to get 10 training points. So keep that in mind as we go throughout the rest of this video. Now, 75 overall, as you just saw, will get you 15 training points. And I don't have a 76, but the 77 overall will get you 20 training points. So the difference from 75 to 77 is that you gain another 5. Now if you look at the 78 overall, you get 25 training points. And the 79 overall will give you 30 training points. So once you hit that 76 overall threshold, every overall after that will give you five more training points. But the 80 overall will give you 65 training points. Now obviously the price increase from 79 to 80 is a huge difference, but we're gonna head to the auction house, I'm about to explain this. All right, so now that I'm in the auction house, we're going to filter the auction house to the 75 to 79 overalls. Now I've seen guides on YouTube already for these that they say, hey, snipe the 79 overalls, but that's not the best way to go about it. Firstly, when you first get in here, you're gonna wanna filter it by positions so that you narrow down your search and you find better prices. So just for this, the example of this episode, we're going to filter to halfbacks. So as you can see, this halfback is 76 overall, and he's going for 2,200 coins. Now if you remember, 76 will go for 15 quick sell training points. So if you do the math on that, this 2,200 coin card is actually going to equate to about 170 coins per training point, and that's not bad in the grand scheme of things, but that's still too expensive for us. So if you go up just one overall to this Isaiah Crowell card, same exact price, and instead of 15 training points, you're gonna be getting 20. And if you do the math on that, you're actually only spending 110 coins per training point if you buy this card which is still not bad, and it's cheaper than this one by about 60 coins per training point, but that's not the best. A lot of suggestions say to snipe these 79 overalls, like this one right here that will get you 30 training points. And if you do the math on that, this guy's actually going for about 90 coins per training point, which is pretty cheap, and actually that's not a bad deal. But we're going to show you how to get training points at a price of 80 coins per training point. And here's how you do it. Still filtered under halfback, you're gonna to wanna to change the quality to 80 to 81 overall. And what you're going to wanna do is you're going to want to snipe these 81 overall cards. But this right here is not a good price at all. So you're gonna to need to refresh the page. I will jump cut to you guys whenever we have a good price. Some key running backs to look out for. This Lamar Miller that just closed. LeGarrette Blount's a good card to pick up as well. DeMarco Murray is also another good player. CJ Anderson is also a good one. You're looking for the 81 overalls. All these 80s are completely irrelevant. All you want is the 81 overalls. All right, so now we got a LeGarrette Blount for 8,000 coins. That's not the cheapest that we can find, but for the example of this video, we're going to buy him for 8,000 coins, and I will show you guys why these 81 overalls are the best deal. So if you click on him and you go to quick sell, you'll see that he's quick selling 
for 95 training points and we just spent 8,000 coins on it. So if you do the math, 8,000 divided by 95 training points is 84 coins per training point. And that is the best deal in all of Madden. You could argue that maybe you can find an 85, an 87, an 89 that will get you more training points, but ultimately it's the price per training point that makes these the most affordable. So we're gonna go ahead and quick sell him 95 training points. We spent 8,000 coins, and that was actually the most expensive that I've had to snipe. I found some of these going for 7,500 coins, and if you do the math on that, that's 78 coins per training point. That is the cheapest way to get training points in the game. So now you may be thinking, well, what is the best card to use my training points on? Honestly, it varies by position. One that I highly recommend is Vic. The Vic power-up card is extremely good. So we've typed in Vic, and as you can see, See, these are going for 3,800 coins, and that's actually a really good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one, snipe it real quick, and resell it because that's a great price. All right, so we just bought him for 3,800 coins. This is turning into a money making method video. We're gonna resell him for about 4,700 coins, and we'll make about 500 coins on that transaction. So there we go, just listed him for 4,700. So Vic is a really good power-up card to have, as well as Odell, I heard, is really good to have as a, as a power-up card as well. This is quickly, <laughs> quickly escalating into a sniping video, because that was also a great price. We're going to relist him for about 2,800 coins and make a couple hundred coins on him as well. So hey, if you're looking for a sniping method, look into this, that's for sure. So we just sold him as well. Now it is possible to find power-ups that start out in the 70 range, such as this Ted Hendricks and these Reggie Whites, but you can actually obtain these through playing the Legends solo missions, so you don't really have to spend money on these. But if you don't like grinding the solos, you're strictly a head-to-head -head player. These are an option also, and they're really good to power up. And I'll quickly just show you some of the power-up cards that I have on my team. So as you can see, I have Vic, not powered up very much yet, because I just discovered this training point earning method today. Um, so I'll definitely be spending more points on him. Landon Collins, huge power-up card. I He's gotten me so many fumbles. He hits like a freight train. And then also Xavier Rhodes is pretty good to have as well. I don't think I've spent any points on him. Like I said, I literally just discovered this training point sniping method. I just want to put this video out for you guys. It's going to be so hard for me to get training points now. But ultimately, this is for you guys. It's content for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Without further ado, let's jump into a pack opening. Because I promise you guys I'll open a few gold player packs. We're going to open two or three. Let's open this first gold player pack right here. And not very good. So first one, major rip in the chat. Everyone go comment RIP below. Second pack, let's go ahead and open this. Come on, give us some good luck. We're recording, we need some good luck here. 77, not really gonna help me. I'll probably make my money back on that one, but still major loss. Some of you guys that have pulled <laughs> these incredible legends out of this pack, I don't know how you did it. I've only pulled one elite, and here we go, core rookie Nathan Shepard. That's not going to help either, but uh, we just sold that OBJ card that we sniped. So if you haven't seen my sniping video, I do have one out there. Link will be in the description, so go check that out. Also, if you want to know how to make money on every single pack opening, I recommend doing these silver get a player packs. I have a video on my channel also that 100 of these opened and what I got from them. And so go ahead and check that out. That's pretty much going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be making another campaign tutorial right after this one. So stay tuned on my channel to check out that video. Smash the subscribe button for more content. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Oh.